Hello, uh, YouTubers. This is not one of my standard videos. I'm actually doing this video as a response to an email request that I got with some questions about my loom. So this video is especially for Eva and Wolfgang. And uh, Eva had asked questions about um, th how the beater or the the beater bar, if you want to call it that, the reed fits on my loom. Um, she writes that there's a difference in the left to right edges of the beater bar on her loom. So let's take a look. I'm not sure I know exactly what Eva is referring to. So I'm going to show you a couple parts of my loom and take a few measurements and show you what I'm seeing and hopefully this will answer Eva's question. So. Let's take a look here, and what I've done is I've measured on my loom the distance from the upright bar here, the front of this bar, to the back piece of the beater bar right here. And I've measured it on both the left and the right side of my loom, and the difference between those two is 46 and a half centimeters. Uh, I normally think in inches, but since Eva and Wolfgang are in Austria, I've, I'm using centimeters. Um, so 46 and a half centimeters in both cases. Now my loom is empty right now, although you can see what I cut off from the last project. Now I do notice when, I, when I'm pulling the beater bar forward like this, that normally, as you can see here, it touches on the what would be the left side when I'm sitting at it first and then on the right side. However, when I measure the distance on that on the left side over here, the same distance I get 46 and a half centimeters from the upright back to this position right here. So I believe that the fa the fact that It touches here just a teeny bit first is is not a real problem and I believe that the loom is straight. Now the other place that we can adjust this loom and I'm going to set the camera down here so you can see me using my my hands to do this is right here. The entire beater assembly can come up and off the loom, which it does when you're when you're uh, threading the loom. You can adjust the vertical position of the beater in relation to the frame so that it's even here by turning this. These are um, you can screw this in or out. I've got mine set so it is even now. But one adjustment that you can make on a Loue loom is this. So you're going to have to be very careful to see that your loom is level and then when you put these, they're almost like hinges that rest in this notch here in place, then put a level at the very top of your loom and verify that it is level and if it's not make an adjustment with one side or the other to raise or lower it so that the top of so that your loom or the beater bar at the top is even and level going across if that is not the question that Eva and Wolfgang are asking then I'm afraid I'm not sure what question they, they want to know um, I've not had a problem with things being uneven, at least I can't tell that I have, so I hope this answers the question, and Eva and Wolfgang, thank you for your interest in my videos, and I uh, would appreciate knowing what, what you learn about your loom as well, and when you do get something woven, I would love to see a picture of your work. Thanks, bye bye.